Welcome to this video. This is on how to wrap text around a curved surface. And I'm going to start off by opening a new part. And I'm going to sketch a circle on the top plane. And I'll call that six inches around. I'll extrude that to three inches. And let's say that this curved or circular surface is what I want to uh, project a sketch onto. Note that this doesn't have to be consistent. I can get a spline and make it all crazy curvy and SolidWorks in most cases will be able to project a sketch onto that. So to start off with I'll create a new plane that sits outside of this cylinder and I'll reference my front plane and give it a bit of distance. So now that I can sketch on this front plane I'm going to maybe just sketch the K that I have on my channel. I'll fast forward this. Okay, so here's a sketch that I have. You can sketch whatever you like. And I want to get this K to extrude on this curved surface. So what I'm going to do is go to, well first I'll exit the sketch and I'm going to Features, Wrap, I'm going to choose I'm going to say Features, Wrap, and it wants me to either choose a plane to create a sketch on that to, to wrap, but since I've already created a sketch I'm going to choose that sketch and then it says what face do I want to wrap that on? There you can see the uh, preview that it gives me. I can check the box and what it's done is it's cut into the face. That's because I've had the deboss function selected. Deboss is I want to take away material a tenth of an inch thick on that face. I can emboss which is say make an extrusion, a curved extrusion on this face to the length of 0.1 inches or a tenth of an inch. I can also choose say half an inch and it will go a little bit further. I can also scribe and this is an option where I simply uh, I would describe it as etching the sketch onto the surface. I'm neither uh, embossing or debossing but simply etching the sketch onto the surface. Finally, I can add another sketch. In fact, I'll just get rid of this feature. Now, um, I can make another sketch on the top plane, let's say, and I'm going to add in a center line, and I'm going to have it go at a certain angle. I don't actually care what this angle is because this is just an example, but you can make this whatever angle you want the angle is important. I'm going to exit the sketch and go back to features and choose wrap. It wants me to select the sketch that I've made. I'm going to say sketch 2 and I'll choose to emboss. And I'll emboss it at a tenth of an inch onto this face and it gives me this option for pull direction. I'm going to choose the angle of this line to pull the uh, embossment that I'm making and now you can see that it is going in the direction of that line. So you can uh, emboss it to different directions as well based upon this line and as always I can deboss it in the direction of that line as well. So my deboss feature goes in that same direction. So that's some food for thought. I uh, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back. And I'll catch you next time.